Hello? Hello? Ha, huh. it's plugged. It's really plugged. You're late. That goes late. I get sprinkling out. Oh. <sighs> Long and the short of it is, we got rained out yesterday afternoon. Got maybe, I don't know, a half inch of rain here. Well, it came down like that quick. And we were dumping trucks here. So we were using the cross auger right up there, dumping into that bend right there. And when the big rain came, that belt started slipping on the pulley up there. And everything started backing up all the way up to the leg. And that started plugging and everything started plugging, and now everything's plugged. I'm gonna show you something here quick. So here's the pits where we dump grain into. It comes up this auger, and then it goes into the what we call the pit drag. And that's not supposed to look like that. She's full, like full, full, like so full. And it's 40 feet long. So, I don't think we've ever, we've plugged this before. That's how we know you need that. You need the vacuolator. But I don't think we've ever done it this good. What we get to do is we get to pull the doors on the bottom of the grain leg, and also the belts on the motor up there, yeah, they're burned off. So we get to go up there, it's sprinkling right now, so we might wait a little bit, put new belts on, vacuolate out the bottom of the leg, and fire that up, and see if this one starts, the pit drag starts. If this don't start, I don't know what we're gonna do. Take the top of this off and back it out? I hope not, but we'll see. We will see. It does not slip, which maybe that's good or... I don't know, but... You excited for this? You wanna climb up there and throw the rope down before the wind gets going? What? No, no Let's comment. Let's hope it's these. If it's the bucket belt, I'm. I'll just be leaving. Don't, e don't even I'm say that. Back. Don't even say that. I got a guy's phone number that'll be called to fix the bucket belt. <laughs> I know some guys. That better not be the case. Oh lord. No. <laughs> How's it going? You look like Rambo. <laughs> just got your rope tied on around you. Look at this. Throw up my knife. You gonna throw down your knife? Please don't. So if I just tie this to my belt and climb up, can we just pull the bucket up through the ladder? Well, these OSHA things are getting in the way again. <laughs> Good to go. I'll throw it up to you. No, you just keep going. Just pull up the, pull the bucket up to the first platform and... Oh my gosh, that's heavy! Backing up. <laughs> Climbing. Why is there so much talking? How come I'm pulling the bucket? Don't tip it over. My arms are shot. Shaking. <laughs> If you fall, I'll hold you by your underwear. I'd rather die am than I have touching, a wedgie. Am I touching skin or? I think you're touching my tattoo. 
<laughs> well, that surprised me. Okay, we're here and it's so windy and it's cold. <laughs> oh. So we gotta remove the shield and get at the belts. <laughs> There's what we got. There's your problem. They're gone. Gandhi. Shot. Belted. <laughs> I would agree. There's a good chance of it. Do we have the right number? Of course it burnt off the number on this belt. 183? Because I got a 180. 1180. Okay, perfect. We need bigger wrenches. <laughs> we gotta drop the bucket again, because my inch and a quarter is nowhere near the size of the tool needed here. And it is getting colder and windier. Woo! I was talking up there. <laughs> now they're hollering, they need wrenches, bigger wrenches. Gotta get some communication, you know, better knowing that my life is gonna turn into what we have going on. I would have wished that I'd have been born with three arms because I was not intended to carry a camera. It's just not working. Okay, there's the pail. Uh, the rope's too short. Tie another rope on. I was told to get some more wrenches, bigger stuff. Yeah, that's all we own. I don't know. It's grandpa's. How you doing? We didn't go to Boy Scouts. We're out of tie Guess they don't know how to tie a knot that's safe. Oh man. Oh, here we go. Now we're gonna give them a radio. That don't look so good. That must be the new improved. Why? Yeah. Stay tuned. I'm gonna talk to them on the way up. Testing? Copy. I hope that knot holds. Getting away from there. Got a copy? It's getting windier and colder, I think. We're getting knots here, boy. Don't drop me. Be careful. Where's that sound coming from? I'll break. If oh. you drop me, it'll hurt. Be careful. Be careful. I didn't know what that sound was coming from. No goes in the bucket. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't we bring them up the first time? My voice is strained now. Wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't 14 degrees up here. Hands are numb. Yeah, we're good for a while. Okay, we're setting up the grain back here. That, yeah, 1086 is back in the driveway. Remember the last time? I do too. Okay, we gotta set up all the hoses and get over to here and suck all the beans that have plugged up inside the trunk. Because last night when the rain shower came through, we were dumping into the what we call the West Sioux Bend with a cross auger and the belts up there got wet and it started slipping and then that slowed down. So the beans backed up in all of the downspouting and then started backlegging. We got a project to do. I gotta go get some more piping for the grain vac to reach the grain leg. I'm so cold, I'm hiding behind the leg. Yeah, it is so windy that the leg is shaking and I'm getting concerned. I'm scared, Eric. I'm scared. Hurry, please. Going to get the pipes for the vac. Some might wonder why I carry this here. Well, it's because I got an itch. No, not really. I don't like it down on my waist because it always gets hooked and breaks clips off. Of course, there'd be a sweep lane on top of my pipes. I gotta set you down. Good morning, Nicole. You wanna come help? Sitting inside an air-conditioned, climate-controlled home. Doing all your editing. Come on out and enjoy life. That's not gonna work. That is definitely not gonna work. Going to get tape. Just what you like to see, a hole in your pipe.
morning everyone. I'm out here today floating. Uh, yesterday we picked a few hundred acres of beans. We're going to try to get what we harvested yesterday done today. And I'm having a lot more fun than the other guys because they're fixing some stuff at the bin site. Can you bring her on back? Keep her coming. Okay, you're gonna have to turn the spout. Yep, too far. Yeah. You ready to hear this thing down here again? <laughs> Not really. Not really. <laughs> At least this wasn't a self-inflicted one. Or was it? No, no, we were just running it yeah. and then it rained. It's the rain's fault. It's rain's the rain's fault. fault, but I think our sensor is shot on the bottom of the grain lake. Well, that could be a possibility also, which is why this has escalated into such a big project. But we have nothing else to do because it rained. Might as well fix something that shouldn't have happened. Let's do this. Fire up. That spout's not going to wiggle woggle out of the truck. That'll be the next problem. Here we go. So we got this door open, shove this in here, and we're going to suck it out like a big giant vacuum cleaner. What happened? You couldn't hear that? What? Well, it, it was sounding weird, but no one started running until everyone right, started yelling. <laughs> Everything is plugged up. We need a vacuolator to unplug the vacuolator now? I think we ruined this thing with the big bean debacle. <laughs> that tractor has got about half a gallon a minute hydraulic flow, I think, is the problem. <laughs> they didn't have hydraulics back in the 70s that were strong. Two remotes, two levers. It's all that guy ever should have had. <laughs> we got a pipe wrench or are we just going to try to just dump Why it? Why am I hollering? There. <laughs> dump her out. For Lord Almighty. <laughs> Plug the back. Okay, everyone, it's time for a survey. Should I wear suspenders or overalls? I'm trying to decide. Suspenders or overalls? Let me know. This thing. I think we ruined it. Just don't feed it so fast. Yeah, what? <laughs> All right. What are you doing? I'm gonna go to the shop and get the shop back then. That'll get her done. I'm back up here by myself. I don't know if dad's coming up or not. Eric left to go spread fertilizer. Steve is driving the truck for him and hauling to him. It rained enough to keep us from combining, but not enough to stop fertilizer or tillage. <sighs> Breathe, Jesus. Woo. I apologize if the audio is terrible, but it is so windy up here and there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm bringing you guys with. Sorry about the audio. I had a heart attack up here. How would they get you down? I don't know. I'd take it easy if you're thinking you're going to stroke out. No stroking, just heavy breathing. Maybe we should do this every day so you stay in shape. Morning. You're on the last stretch. That would be awesome. A zip line from here to the shop. Think how fast you get going. You made it. Oh gosh. I think I'm foaming up like that old Duroc board pickup <laughs> we used to have. It's all frothy. 120 foot climb. Oh. At least there's platforms every what? 40 feet? Too old for this. We're getting closer. Oh. Yeah, it should. I got a rest. You know what? Let's shut the power off so no one can kill us here. Holy thunder. tight fiddle string right play guitar with that okay let's uh put the shield that way it's about 100 no no we're right. gonna we're, we're gonna, gonna run it we're gonna run it oh okay let me get out of here cross auger is running so whenever you want to start the leg Be going 
going into that bend shortly. There, I can see it coming out right now. You guys probably can't. He's unblocked. Success! Where the hell of me? I had visions of a raccoon or something. I thought I stepped on a raccoon. Well, that was just my head. <laughs> That rope ain't right. No, it's, it's all twisted it's up and out a million. It's junk. So for how windy it is on top of the leg, it sure isn't very windy around here. This is nice. Nice working. So now we get to attempt to get this that's literally ram packed full of beans running, which I'm not too excited about. You ready to try that conveyor or where are you at? Ready to try the conveyor? Batteries are dead. <laughs> What's going on? Trucks. We're ready, huh? Well, we're not ready. We're not ready. Everything's Looks like still... Faye wants us to be ready. Look out now! Yeah, fire up. It's slowly moving, like, I mean, really slowly. It's gonna blow the breaker. It's so jammed. Yep. It's moving, it's moving, uh, it stopped. Yeah, it seems like it's not as plugged, maybe. So we're moving the vac over here because that is so plugged, we don't want to wreck anything more or wreck anything at all. So we're going to get the vac, same dang deal, because these are full and it's going to just keep filling it. And so we're just going to back out as much as we can in this spot. Yeah, it's raining, it's ra raining now, so that's, that's a positive. This is going actually, everyone's attitudes is better Remember than you would imagine. Remember when we had Westfield augers? Yeah. The, the stuff like this never happened. Oh yeah, that gearbox yeah. failure. Yeah, gearbox fails underneath full load. Flighting. And then they had to separate the auger and <laughs> oh, that was a bad night. That's as bad as this is. Uh, that was maybe worse. <laughs> you running that big outfit? Uh, Can you I, handle the ho horsepower? Know. There's two levers, I know. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Fire up. I suppose there is soon. You're better. ripped. Well, yeah, I just You don't even a, fit in this coat. Climbed a 120 foot <laughs> leg. Anybody knows I've heard stories about people trying to take vacuolator tubes made out of PVC to go long distance. Doesn't it turn into like static electricity? And it, if you stand close to it or hold on to it, it will fry your guts, microwave you or something like that, kill you. That's what I've been told anyway. So don't do that. Don't do that. No PVC. Only I'm vacuolator gonna go hoses is approved. Okay, you ready? <laughs> yeah. You Here we go. That was mightily disappointing. Yeah, I shut it off here before I pop the breaker. I'll start it again. Should we get a bar and pry? If we got a bar here, as slow as that moves, we could pry on the back of the paddles. Anything will help. We're getting there. This is how it works. Supposed to fill the bottom and drag it. This top tap is not supposed to be. That's not supposed to be full. That's why it's a flood. I suppose suck some more out. It's wanting to go. Yeah, I think it's wanting to go. Fire it up. Firing. Here we go. He's running at full speed. Maybe turn it off. Stop on her. So she's going to the bend. Woo! Fire it up. Oh. 
Oh, I'm glad that's over. That was stressful. Green light, should we dump some trucks? No, let's regroup here. <laughs> I don't want it. Once a up. fall is good enough. Yeah, but if we had an alarm that would just blast so loud you'd run for your yeah. life. So we have safety Say, features gotta... on the grain leg for so that this don't happen and whatever reason that feature did not work. Yeah, we gotta go check that switch. Time for dinner again? Yeah. Look at Nikki. <laughs> time to eat, break time. We got it unplugged. It's unplugged. Hey, it's I gotta tell everybody. Tight and we're ready to go. What? She's got a walrus oh outfit on. Here's it's the... just for warmth, Douglas. This is the two big teeth. And you know how them big walrus face? They're little walrus. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, here comes the beating again. There's another situation developing at the Ben site here. Just got called down here for help. Did you get run over? No! <laughs> yes. Situation! She's plugged! Never seen that. <laughs> that sort of happens when you load a truck in the rain, I guess. Oh my. How are you gonna get it unplugged? There we go. They swelled up. All the water ran to the bottom of the gate and they swelled up. Look how big they are. Oh my God. We need a new trailer. <laughs> Jeepers. Pits full. Well, all systems are a go again. Ready for tomorrow. Hopefully the weather is better tomorrow. Not less cloudy and wind, which it's obviously windy today, but it's been raining on and off. So maybe late afternoon we can get back to harvesting tomorrow. What a nightmare today was. Wow. You never know what that next day on the farm is going to bring you. Surprises every day. Stay running, little buddy. Stay running. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see you next time.